Hi, I'm Donna DeVere, the original creator of the Folk Art Once Wrote Painting Technique. Welcome to the Let's Paint Studio right here at Plaid. Learning to paint has never been as easy as when I teach you how to load a brush with multiple colors where you can blend, shade, and highlight with one stroke of the brush. Our new program with Let's Paint Folk Art One Stroke this year is going to be all about learning how to paint 50 different types of flowers. And as you can imagine, 50 flowers makes the possibility endless to be able to paint floral designs. I'm thrilled that you've chosen to join me on this one stroke journey. So let's paint. Today's flower is a gladiolus and we're gonna start out by using our reusable teaching guide and it's gonna share with us that we're gonna use the Folk Art Multi-Surface Paint. And let's go over those colors really quick. We have magenta and wicker white, apple red, moon yellow, citrus green, and sap green. And I even put a little floaty medium in the middle in our double loader. We're gonna use our one stroke brushes, which is number 12 flat and a two script liner. Now this tall, fun gladiolus comes in many colors, but I'm using a peachy color today. All right, so to get those colors, I wanna share with you that you need darker colors than what you're doing, um, going to paint with because we always use white with them also. So I'm gonna go in between the apple red and yellow and it's gonna instruct you all this here again, but I want you to see it right here from me. And we're gonna split this brush in between the yellow, moon yellow and apple red. Then we're gonna pick up white and work this in. Okay, so that's gonna give us more of the color, the peachy color that we want. So whenever we need color, we might need more yellow, a dot of red and a, a dot of white. And as you're working this, you're gonna get that great color in here. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to see if this is a shade we want. It's a little brighter. So I can add a little bit more moon yellow to the apple red and a little bit more white. Okay, after you get the color, it's really easy from there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use the flat of this brush to start. Now I want you to make sure that you have your handle up, up straight up and down, but I want to be able to show you the stroke, so I'm leaning it a little bit, okay? So I can still get a little bit more white. So this is one, two, three, and I've shared with you before a triangle flower where we have like orchids are like this, different kinds of flowers have three, and then they put three more. Now I can turn this around so that I can get to this easier, all right? Now we're gonna put these four, five, and six on top of this to get this. All right, so I'm gonna come right in here where we loaded and we're gonna put the next strokes on here. And we do do wet on wet because of the luscious paint, we can do that, the folk art paint. All right, so I'm gonna move it and go right here and come around. And now I have one in the middle, so you're putting one in, in between each one. Okay, so we're gonna come right here and go right on top. People always say, I gotta let it dry. I'm like, no, we do wet on wet. And the reason we can do that is we're not using water and we have thick, luscious paint, okay? So that's the step to make the original flower. Okay, so I can go out more to a point and come back. So just practice this until you feel comfortable building the two together. All right, then I kind of wipe this brush a little bit and come in here with some magenta. See how I'm side loading a little bit on the edge, the corner. And we're gonna show you that we just come in here like this with the magenta. All right. And then I take the edge of the chisel edge, that's the chisel, and I'm pulling out across around here, okay? So I'm gonna come right in here. I, I paint them on, then I come back and do 
the throat of this gladiolus. Okay, and so I get that shading in there. All right, but I like to do it, you can see, when it's all dry. Now, I'm going to come right in here and show you these buds. So there's strokes that I pulled where I pulled down. And I start laying like two of them on there. That gives you a little bud. Okay. Or I go like this to get a bigger open, like it's starting to open. Stroke two. So I've got the one in the back. I've got this one that pulls down. And I've got one that wiggles a little bit. So that gives you different ways tight, a little bit more open, and all the way open. And then we're going to pull our stamens in. So when we're pulling our stamens in, we're going to use this two script liner, roll that color out of the puddle of paint, and we're going to touch and pull in, touch, touch, touch. And then at the end, we just come back and do a little yellow, thick yellow, right from the puddle, and put some uh, pollen on the stamens, OK? So there we go. Now, what we want to do first is we want to put the stem in here. So practice this and feel comfortable with those flowers because after we put our stem, we just have a placement with the stem. So I'm going to put citrus, and, citrus green and sap green. OK, so we're going to pull down just with the chisel lifting the citrus slightly so it's thin. And then all we do from here is practice these leaves a little bit, which you're going to touch, pressure, and lift. Touch, pressure, and lift. And so just practice some of those till it's smooth. OK, and then up here, we pull a few little, little bits of green so it looks like the, the buds coming from some of that greenery, OK? Now, the key is we're going to wipe this with a wet wipe or a wet paper towel. And we want it nice and clean so you can practice again. Now, we're doing the tall stalk, all right? And we're going to put this right here so we don't forget how to do this, what we have practiced. So I'm going to come way up to the top. I'm going to do a little bit of a stem, all right? And then I'm going to add, I can even flip this around and add a couple of these little guys, because up there it'll stay green. And then we're going to put um, the blossoms and the buds, and then we come back with more green. So for right now, I'm just doing these leaves that might be underneath the first blossoms. Okay, I want a little bit more citrus green. So we're going to touch, pressure. Oops, you can tell I need a little bit of medium. So we just touch the medium. We don't put the whole brush in there. Because this is a long stem or a long leaf means you need floating medium. Okay, so I'm going to wash that all off. And then we're going to start with these upper flowers. So let's start with yellow and white. Work this in and pick up a little bit of apple red. Yellow and apple red. Again, and pick up white on the moon yellow. Moon yellow and wicker white and touches of apple red. There we go. All right. So we're going to come here and check again and see it. There we go. It's a nice color. All right, so what happens first is we have a couple of these little buds that come down the stem, and which we'll put green around it. Then we have a couple of little guys here. There 
we go. <clears throat> and now let's put, I'm going to put a gladiolus there and a, a bigger one there. Coming down, they get larger and larger. Okay. Now, if I, I went in there wrong, and so I'm going to pick up fresh, I wiped it off on my paper towel, and then I'm going to pick up again. So you don't have to go to the water. You just wipe off what's on the surface of the brush. Yellow, moon yellow, wicker white, and a touch of apple red. And then we're ready for our blossoms. Okay, so I'm going to come up here and I'm going to make the first stroke. And then I'm going to have the triangle. See, that's what we're looking for. Now, I know this one's going to be covered by the second one, but that's okay. Yellow is transparent. The white covers better. So just go over the green with a little bit more white. Okay. Now, if we need to fix something, we just pick up fresh paint and go back and stroke it. All right, so we're going to put another stroke right here. Now we're layering the top petals on the gladiolus, okay? And then one right here. All right, so that is going to be sitting in back, so you're only going to see a little bit of that one. But this one on top, I'm going to make it really um, dramatic, a little bit more. I knew that one was going to be in the back. See how I fresh up the brush again? Okay, so this one's going to come right here, and it's going to overlap some. Make sure you pick up fresh white so this stands out. All right, so let's clean our 12, and we're going to pick up citrus green and sap green. And all we're going to do now is come in here and grab these buds. We're going to... Pick up a little bit of magenta on the corner. I've got water on here. Magenta. And we're going to come right in here into where the throat would be of this flower. And then we're going to just pull with the chisel edge the pink up into there. The magenta. All right, so let's get some more magenta. And it's just going to show back here. All right, so I like to let this totally dry before we do this. Okay. All right, now we're going to use our script liner. We're going to pick up the white. I touched slightly the water. Roll it and pull it out. So now what you want to do here is you want to touch and pull, touch and pull into the flower, okay? Right here. It's got a little bit of pink in it, so we pick up more. So now we're going to just put 
the thick moon yellow and make these little marks across the top, which is where the pollen is. I had so much fun today sharing how easy it is to paint these flowers. They turned out gorgeous. Remember, practicing on the reusable teaching guides right over my strokes gives you so much painting confidence. Thank you for joining me here in the studio. And remember, we just learned one more of the flowers from the A to Z One Stoke Floral Painting Sets. And I would love for you to take pictures and share them on our Let's Paint with Plaid Facebook group by hashtagging Let's Paint Challenge. Come on, everybody, let's paint. Thank you.